I'm gonna show you the Pixel 7 Pro HDR footage and I strongly believe that the phone does not capture HDR at all and that's why it's locked to 30. So what I see is that the phone is capturing SDR and then using post-processing to make that SDR into HDR, basically auto HDR, because the phone is not able to capture the dynamic range of my LG C1, but not even close, like nothing, like there's no difference between the SDR footage and the HDR in terms of the highlight details. They are completely missing on the HDR footage too. The difference is that on HDR is pushing the brightness. So let me show you here specifically and I can even turn off the lights. I'm gonna do a second benchmark with turning off the light. So I can see all the details here on the leaves. All those details, I can see it here in front of me. And on the recording, unless I lower the exposure, I cannot see those details. And it looks exactly the same as SDR. So I can also see all the trees behind here. All this detail here is missing on the recording. I saw it, it was clipping like crazy. So, and this is not very bright at all. <laughs> like if I measure with a, uh, you know, with a color emitter or something, I measure with my cell phone app. <laughs> I don't have a color emitter, but I, I measure with an app on the cell phone. That's very low luminance. Of course, the app on the cell phone is inaccurate, but it is low luminance, it, it definitely, tells me like three, 400 nits, it's not, it's not very high uh, luminance and the phone cannot capture that, not even close. So the other thing, I do not get perfect blacks, like the blacks are raised because the phone is trying to see on the darkness, okay, which is bad, it's a bad thing. <laughs> you should not try to see on the darkness, you should record exactly the same thing that you see. That's what a camera is supposed to do. If it's dark, it's dark. Don't try to boost near black. That's like using dynamic tone mapping on this LG C1. That is not accurate and it damaged the picture quality. So I do not like it at all. It is not real HDR. It is not real HDR in my opinion. With the experience that I have with this LG C1, I can tell you that phone is not recording on HDR. So here's the problem, here's the problem. Can I get what I'm looking for with a different phone? I don't believe so. So the problem is no longer 60 FPS. Okay, let's say this Pixel 7 Pro can record 4K HDR 60 FPS, which cannot. And, in, I, and I thought it was able to record that because I saw so many, um, reviews online uh, to, you know, comparing the iPhone 14 Pro Max with the Pixel 7 Pro. There is no comparison. The 14 Pro Max can record 60 FPS 4K HDR and the Pixel 7 Pro cannot, okay? But let alone that, that problem, it is not real HDR. <laughs> it is not. It, it is not capturing a higher dynamic range than SDR. And if you are an expert, and I am incorrect. Explain me, please. I want to learn. So if, if you if you know better, tell me. Explain me why I'm incorrect, and you know, point me uh, towards uh, an article or something I can read to understand and to to know better. But based on what I see and in my experience with HDR gaming, I can tell you the phone is not recording a higher dynamic range. It is doing the same thing that I do <laughs> with SDR uh, to HDR tricks. So the auto HDR techniques like using HLG or just turning on HDR on Windows and using the SDR, HDR slider, and then adjusting the black level on the TV and try to get the maximum peak brightness of the TV. That looks better than SDR for sure but that is not showing you more details 
It is showing you the same as SDR. It just looks more vibrant. It looks more, uh, more colorful because it is you get brighter colors. Okay, so that's what's going on on the phone. It is not recording. <laughs> that's why it doesn't let you do it at 60 because it's basically a processing problem. Not even if you lower the resolution. If it was a limitation of the camera, you can lower the resolution. So if it was a matter of bandwidth, you can lower the resolution, 1080p, 60, and do HDR. Why not? <laughs> 4K 30 HDR is more information than, than 1080p 60 HDR. If, if you use the Muridio HDMI 2.1 bandwidth calculator, you will see that. So, uh, yeah, but it's about the same. So let me turn off the lights and do another benchmark run. So maybe with the lights off, maybe not for sure, it's going to capture uh, the footage better. So yeah, man, I am unhappy with the phone, but the reality is that I don't think I can get something better. <laughs> I can wait on, I can return this phone and then wait until next month and get the Samsung Galaxy S23, which will record 4K 60 HDR like the iPhone 14 Pro Max does. And I'm not getting an iPhone because I don't like the operating system. I do not like the Apple business model. They want to charge you for everything. I just don't like Apple. <laughs> okay. Not an Apple fan, not paying for iPhone, but it is a better product. Objectively, it is a better product. It has more capabilities. The screen is smaller too, which I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of, uh, but yeah, it is a better product. But the problem is if I wait for the Samsung, Galaxy. So you see, I can see all the details here, all the leaves in front of me. I can see it. I can see all of this perfectly. I mean, this this, this is not even bright <laughs> and it, and it is, it's probably clipping on the phone. I can see all of these trees behind and it's not even bright. This is not even bright and I can see all the branches of the trees. No problem whatsoever. That is not even bright and it was clipping on the recording, which is, it is bad. So if I wait for the Samsung Galaxy S23 and I get that phone, <laughs> I don't think I am going to get what I want. Not even close. I don't believe so. So it is just going to be a bigger failure. <laughs> it's just going to be you know, just failing, um, you know, spending more money and still not getting what I want. So if I get a real camera, uh, it's not going to be. So let's say I spend $2,000 on a camera. Okay. I spoke uh, with gaming tech. He told me the camera he uses uh, is very expensive. So if I get that camera with the lens, it's like $2,000 or more. Will I be able to record 4K 60 HDR with the quality that I want? No. <laughs> so basically the only way I have to show you high quality HDR videos is using a second PC with a capture card. And here's the problem with doing that. Let me turn on the lights. Here's the problem with doing, with doing that. The games have the black level race. <laughs> okay. So what I'm capturing is not good. It's still not good. So this game, for example, I have to lower fine tune dark areas minus five. The game has the black level race and most games have the black level race, uh, in a huge way. You have to use fine tune dark areas minus 16. For example, Spider-Man, you have to do that. So that is on the TV. So the game I am capturing has the black level race. So if I'm showing you, oh, look at how, how good this HDR uh, is, I can tell you, hey, go to your LG C1 and lower fine tune dark areas. But what if you're watching that on your cell phone or you're watching that on a different TV? <laughs> it's a footage that looks bad. So also, I cannot show you 
So the reason why I wanted a, a camera to point to the TV is because I wanted to show you the SDR tricks that, I, that I've been sharing with you and show you how good it looks. And I cannot show you that with a captured card because the card is capturing um, something else. <laughs> okay. So it's capturing something that is looking bad. It looks bad. It has the black level rays. It's, it doesn't look good. So what makes the games look good is the settings that I am using on the TV. The source is messed up. <laughs> Unless you have a game, like for example, Elden Ring or Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone 2. Those games are perfect. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. I can use my capture card, capture that, and you know, upload that to YouTube and tell you how amazing they are. But if the game doesn't have any problem with the HDR, <laughs> why would I even bother <laughs> doing a high quality video like that just to show you, hey, you know, HDR is amazing. Go and buy a fifteen, you know, a one thousand dollar OLED TV. That is, I mean, that's that's not very helpful. <laughs> so. Yeah, basically what I'm looking for, I don't think is possible. I don't think it's possible unless I just spend like m insane amount of money. <laughs> Maybe Linus Tech Tip have a, has a camera, uh, a red <laughs> camera that can record uh, 4K 60 HDR with, with a kind of quality that would allow me to show you what I see or something closer to what I see in front of me. But of course, that's, I'm just not spending that, that kind of money. That would be really, that would be insane. So yeah, man, I am frustrated with the you know Google Pixel 7 Pro camera uh, recording, especially on HDR. But understanding that I had wrong expectations because I was expecting something that is not possible. And it wasn't the best choice. The best choice right now was the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I didn't get that because I do not like Apple. Uh, so basically it wasn't the best choice, but restricted <laughs> to my choices. I didn't have a better option. The S22, doesn't record 4K HDR 60 frames. And I just didn't check that. I was assuming, of course, of course, 4K 60 HDR is not a big deal. It's nothing. I didn't check that. And all the comparisons online with the 14 Pro Max and the Pixel, there's no comparison. The 14 Pro Max is better. <laughs> it can do 4K 60 HDR and the Pixel 7 Pro cannot. There's no comparison. So, yeah, I was misled by that too. Uh, but my bad. <laughs> it was my fault. Um, but yeah, on SDR, it does record better. And it is a big upgrade from the Pixel 3, for sure. So I am still deciding what I'm going to do. Uh, because if I do not have a better option, <laughs> and I return it, then what, what am I going to do? So... The, the best thing I can think of right now is return it and next month get the S22, which is going to be more expensive. So I'm going to end up paying three, four hundred dollars more to get 4K 60 HDR and then not be happy because the Samsung is still using a bunch of post processing garbage and the picture is going to look overly saturated and all the same issues. So it, it's going to have a better quality, but it's going to also cost me more money. And at the end, I'm not going to get what I want. So basically, two things I can do. Try to learn how to capture HDR with what I have, with my GPU on my PC, without a second PC, without a capture card. I'm going to lose performance, but there has to be a way to capture HDR, at least at 30 FPS for sure. So I can show you a good footage of HDR. And with the microphone, I can record my voice. So I can upload a video with my vo voice over and a good HDR footage. I can do that. And the, th the second thing that I can do 
is to control the exposure of the video. So I can record on SDR and when I am showing you HDR uh, picture, I reduce the exposure to show, show you the highlights and increase the exposure to show you, to show you the rest of the, of the, you know, the mid tones and everything. So that's, that's, that's the best thing I can do right now. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and, and yeah.